of the big challenges we have in healthcare for the LGBT community is an incredible lack of data. Because the federal government doesn't study LGBT folks well, because we don't ask the right questions in medical settings, we don't know a lot about our community. And so One Colorado prioritized actually a survey of, of Coloradans a couple years ago, prioritized health as one of the issues that the LGBT con community was uh, concerned about. The timing by which you disclose whether or not um, you're gay or not really sometimes has to do with the provider's timing. So I've had some difficulties in the past with just that timing. Do I lead this conversation or does the provider do that for me and then I'm in a position of having to respond to that conversation. So some of that is, again, learning on the part of the provider, learning on the part of the patient about who leads this conversation that's very important about sexual orientation and health. I'm a breast cancer survivor, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer by a male physician who talked to me at great length about my negligence in breast care. The insensitivity around that conversation um, actually made me pretty opposed to having pretty straight conversations about my own health. Some of this insensitivity really had to do with my sexual orientation, had to do with statistically how often as lesbians and bisexual women we sometimes disregard preventive care. Those conversations didn't happen in this provider relationship. I didn't know how to relate it to the community that I was in as a black person didn't know how to relate it to the community that I was in as an LGBTQ person, no context whatsoever. And the reason that I didn't have context is that I had a provider that didn't have context to describe to me what I was going through. That was a painful process, and it's a process that I talk to people about a great deal now, and that is having context for your health.